African mothers naturally paint traditional hut houses in Africa. The process starts with going to a swampy garden to get black soil. We are passing by a natural made bathroom. We have to carefully walk on the tiny path, not to step on the newly planted growing crops. Well, here we can have a 360 degrees of nice community green gardens. Lots of plant and I never expected. Is this cabbages? Aha. Anyways, let's make it to the tree corner. So here is the thing. Lost my way to the mother digging the black soil, but found these two youthful mothers who were cool upon short snap requests. Black soil is the first smear to the wall before color painting. The black soil is dug deeply from swampy gardens and collected in a bucket. Black soil as it's called, it's carefully dug from below. Sweet potatoes molds or plant and not spoil crops. Be sure to check out the video of African mothers building to see how black soil is smeared. Please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you. Smiles. The bucket is carried on the head, D's heaviness. As we head back having seen how black soil is collected, for this process we focus on house color painting. There are clothes being washed. And here we pass be family clothes left to dry. Traditional hut house color painting requires specific ingredients and steps followed as we shall see. Color painting ingredient one black charcoal. Black charcoal grain remains of charcoal like this has to be collected or sometimes bought. Please subscribe, like, and comment smiles. Color painting ingredient to ash. Ashes remains from stuff such as burnt wood after campfire. But here women get ash after cooking using firewood. Color painting ingredient 3 water. Step 1. Black charcoal is mixed with water. Black charcoal is the roughest of the ingredients. Sometimes a tiny sponge will be used to scrub it dark on the wall. Sponge scrub smoothens the darken. Black charcoal liquid on the wall. Fetching another rough scoop to smoothen on the wall. Generally, let's imagine the garden black soil we fetched earlier is already smeared on the wall. As per previous mother's building video dot now, here black charcoal liquid is rubbed on top of that garden black soil. Hope it's clearer now to see the difference of Smeared garden black soil below black charcoal liquid. Please subscribe, like, and comment smiles. Oops, no crumble. Keep applying layers until it's smoothly dark. Step 2. Ashes mixed with water.
Call this design stage dot and ash scoop carefully separates the upper dark wall to form a lower white wall. Please subscribe, like, and comment smiles. Both wall designs go round the house, but one section at a time. Remaining ash is smeared all below round. Better to start with upper section to smoothen out drips below. Step 3. Application of cow dung on the floor. Yes, cow dung is smelly for short periods only. As once it dries, its usefulness starts into play. If cow dung is dry, mix it with some water. To wetly smoothen it out it nicely. Cow dung is so important for the floor. Muddy floor occasionally produces dust particles. Application of cow dung will smoothen floor. No dust particles and keeps crawling insects out. Yikes! Thank you for subscribing to channel, like and comment smiles. The inside house floor is also smeared, however. Sometimes people get plastic carpets for use to even woolen carpets when affordable. Wondering what happens to the veranda will be race smeared with garden black soil at N. Isn't that a beautifully painted square at home? Square huts are built by the youth to show unique beauty and energy while round huts are built by elderly male and women.